Assalamu alaikum brother, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay, just doing weekly updates with regards to as to why we're still wearing these t-shirts. And um, you had some something to add on, on this matter. Um, as to you know the whole backstory as to how this community came to power. Yeah. Um, can you shed some light on that please? Okay. Uh, I, I was one of the original committee members elected uh, in the when, first election, okay. one of the last election, the election and, before, and, and how which long was, ago a, was that? That was about seven years ago, okay. six, seven years ago. Okay. That was the election which was fair and proper. Okay. And I put myself forward to be a committee member because I wanted to start the committee. Could we just go somewhere a bit more quieter? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of traffic noise in the back, sorry about this. Ah. Yeah, so maybe this would be slightly, yeah. just slightly better. So, so I, I agreed to be uh, become a committee member okay. and sign the election because I wanted to serve the community. Yes, yes. yes. And give something back to the Just like system. Yeah. 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 So after the election we were elected, within the first two or three meetings, it was uh, clear that the vast majority of this group, other than about three or four of us, they were all very politically motivated. Yes. They were in the community, not to serve the community, okay. but they wanted to do a sort of takeover right. and a dictatorship in the mosque. And they wanted to do whatever they wanted, they didn't want to just do anyone else. Yes. And the prime example of, of that is the last election. Because during that period, my, myself and a few others, we had to resign from the community because we could not bring ourselves to work with these dishonest uh, people who were doctoring the minutes in the committee meeting minutes uh, there were the votings were uh, sort of led by one person yeah. only the chairman yeah. whatever he says everyone else voted that way they, no one justified or considered anything else and the, it came to uh, after we resigned we thought okay we'll resign we'll do a time for a few new election new committee will come in yeah. but they don't fear allah they what do. they did what, the, yeah, and what they did during the yeah, before the election, during the membership process, for their own people, they are not even filling up the form, but issuing the card, membership card. Yes, yes, yes. And so, for, for, so for their own members, they yeah. are issuing membership cards. It's automatically. What, before the forms are being filled yeah, out? Yeah, I have good evidence that for, yeah, membership card has been issued without person being filling the form. So forms were filled in and they issued these membership cards to just... Yeah. And amazing. For, just amazing. For, for people who are in the opposition, yeah. they know who are, and they are rejecting their yeah, membership yeah. on any excuse. I'm just going to step in here, brother. Yeah. I mean, I know of families that came from the road where I live. I, I live just literally, I could say half a kilometer. Yeah. If we just step on the other side of this mosque, over this shop, or, uh, row of shops, we live on the other side of the road. Uh, people came with the applications, valid applications, passports, driver's licenses, valid UK ID, and they were turned down. They were turned down, applications were turned down. Um, you don't even get this happening in the general elections. It doesn't even happen in the Brent local elections. I was a counter system for um, the last general election. Out of maybe four to 500,000 residents, it comes down to around 20 or 30 votes where the origin of the vote is dubious so it's put aside so parties contest lib dem labor you may know over here you have over 150 applications that were turned down because 150 signatures did not match id documents like passports this is unheard of it's how many people i mean even after and the matching and the, sorry to interject the matching was very minimal in a lot of the cases, they rejected the ID, uh, sorry, they rejected the application because the signature didn't match, whereas the same signature issued on the check and the bank lost the check. So, so these are the forms. How, how did they feel when they were when they were conducting this sort of behavior? How did, uh, what, what was the they were? I mean, what, what was it? What, I mean, how did they deny this? How did they deny? This? They, deny this? They, just, they, they have got a very sort of gang attitude. They are very aggressive. There is David Aziz, yeah. so one of the guys. Yeah. He's very rude and aggressive. Yeah, I've, I've he seen that. screams and shouts at everyone. Seen, so yeah. they, even as a general the one who done the, the, the one who said he was attacked yeah. by worshippers, lies, and he was grabbing people by the throat and grabbing their clothes. I saw the videos. Yeah. Those yeah. videos are still actually available on media, uh, uh, various media outlets. Yeah. Again, this is already a four and a half minute video. Um, we're going to leave it maybe here and carry this on next week but this is just a regular update as to why we still wear these t-shirts as you can see um, there's many brothers here um, you know this committee their end game will eventually come 
we're seeking obviously legal address to get them out of power by the legal means to have free and fair elections. That's all we call for. It's not much. Honestly, it's not much. They hold free events. Can I, can I just add one more very important point? Go ahead, brother. In the last election, after the closing day, yeah. more than 300 members were added. Because the chairman himself, on the last day of the closing, on a general meeting, he announced we had around 800. But on the day of the election, suddenly more than 1,100 members came. There was so a line. This additional 300, they just put it, put it there themselves. So one could assume that additional 300, did they go into the yellow pages and pull these names out of local people who lived there randomly? Again, another potentially allegation of fraud. You know, this is, I mean, what but they're doing. The is proven. Is it's it been, it really? has been proven. It's on record. Who are these, who are these individuals? Ask them to produce the names. Yeah, they are all their own uh, groups. The people that they know, they, that they will vote for them. There was also a prerequisite of people that live within the borough. Yeah. Okay. Of was it two miles? Three so miles. Three miles mile radius. So these people could potentially could be living in Harrow. They could be living in. That, that's a, that's not a. They, regardless of where they live, the main point is these members, members became after the deadline yeah. because when they realized that. They could see who are going to vote for them and who are not. So out of the 800 members, they potentially are going to lose the election. So they created this additional 300 I'm so, members. I'm sorry to say, I'm just listening to this and it just sounds so fraudulent. The whole process sounds so messed up, so fraudulent. It's, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I, honestly, brother, you, you've given us a, a very nice insight. Um, again, um, I'm just going to stop the recording. Is that okay? Yeah? Is that okay?